Well, hello there, amazing people. This is just a little bit of a um, proof of concept, I think you would call it. I was thinking about how could or would a XFCE version of, of Pop OS look like or be like. And, and what I basically did is I installed XFCE on the Pop OS and themed it with the themes that came with Pop OS, basically the Pop OS fonts and, and the theme. So if you go in here and we look at, at at the appearance we're using pop dark fonts uh, not fonts sorry icons we're using the pop os icons and fonts we're using the fia fiawa or sense book and mono regular which is the fonts that pop os is using oh this is the license there you go so i'm trying to keep it as close to the to pop os as possible I'm also using U-Launcher instead of their own launch because I think it's only working with GNOME. There you go, I can fucking think. So you get what I'm uh, trying to do here. So I'm trying to make XFCE as pop OS as possible, but it's not responding. Okay, I, I got you, I got you. So this is kind of like what it looks like on, until now. Like the, the font or, or the, the text color here is should be something else or it should be done better because it's not really that good to be honest and we are just using the whisker menu instead of their own application menu i think there is a, a version of the application not their application window but there is some program out there that kind of gives you the same ish kind of layout here kind of like what um i think it's mac OS to have this like you uh, big uh almost filling the whole screen with applications launch a kind of thing in Meduski. but i haven't looked into that yet but as you guys can see here it, it's it, it don't of course have the flair of pop os it, it, it don't have the quality of pop os in xfce because this is just something i did in like 20 minutes or something like that if even that maybe only 10 minutes installing xfce theming it using the um the, the xfce wallpapers and then Bob's your uncle you kind of have like a kind of a pop os like desktop this is the word that uh, I'm, I'm looking for so i'm just opening different kind of programs here i i don't know if it's using there's like a scheduler that they're using to make uh, programs and games more responsive and stuff like that i i don't know if that is tied into the, the the pop shell I, I don't think it is but who knows it could be why i'm doing this is basically because a lot of people don't like gnome a lot of people don't like the cosmic desktop because it's on gnome a lot of people really despise gnome they don't really like kde either because it's too complicated for them and but they seem to love xfce what i'm i'm, I'm kind of thinking here is that should pop os should there be a version of pop os that is XFCE, maybe KDE, maybe not a officially supported one, but in the download section here, you can download it. They may have themed it, but that's it. And, and you're still getting, you know, the, the, the technologies in the back end. We are still using the, uh, the Pop OS kernel here with the Pop OS tweaks and whatever there is to it. We are still using a lot of like, like the Pop OS battery optimization is still in there i like i said I, I i still think that they are utilizing the scheduler in the back end there's still a lot of the, the back end stuff from pop was in here it's just not in your face like it is with the, the cosmic desktop or the gnome cosmic or however you will say it and and pop os do actually support alternative uh desktops if you go into i think it's here yeah here you can find instructions on how to install the different kind of desktops that you want. And and I think why a lot of people are not doing it is because they are losing or, or they think they are losing some of the Pop OS charm. Because a lot of Pop, Pop OS, let's be honest, what draws people to Pop OS are in, 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 in great stripes or, or, or why a lot of people like Pop OS is what they have done to GNOME. They, they made GNOME usable. But there are still a lot of people that wish that Pop OS had an ISO with XFCE, KDE on it. I now want to ask you guys this question. Is this something you want? Do you wish that you could go into Pop OS's 
uh, website here. And then download, uh, if you click download here, there was like, a, let's say, a community edition, unsupported editions and, and stuff like that. That was XFCE, KDE, maybe Mate. But had all of the pop OS spring the dingy dusty dusty in the back end. So you get all the benefit of pop OS, but you didn't get the Cosmic Desktop or the GNOME Desktop. You just got almost a generic XFCE, KDE, Mate desktop, just themed like it it belongs on the pop OS like this does here. Because this is more or less just stock standard XFCE. Uh, tell me that you do like say yes i wish that there was like a, a pop os xfce edition or kde edition and stuff like that and are you okay or, w or what do you want out of those distributions if it if there was like a xfce version like i have right here are you okay with, with it let's just say this is what it comes with it comes with you launcher so that uh, let's try uh text info here it comes with you launcher and it comes with a theme, you know, the icon set, the font set, and the themes for pop OS. That's it. Because they can make this in like five minutes or something. Uh, maybe not five minutes, but instead of uh, respinning that distribution with, with Cosmic or Gnome or whatever you will call the desktop that they're using right now, they could just basically just respin that distribution with XFCE on it and, and do minimum work. Or should it be up to the community? Should they allow some community members in if they want to maintain, kind of like uh, maintain an XFCE version, kind of a little bit like what Mantiao is doing, or or what um, Ubuntu is doing with the you know the KDE Community Edition and stuff like that. So if we go in here to to uh, Mantiao, we can go in here to uh, Edition. So we have the official, and then we have the community, which is the community that are doing the packaging, they're doing the building of the ISO, so to speak, of uh, Bocci, Cinnamon, i3, Mate, Sway. Do you kind of like that approach that Pop OS will say, hey, if you are interested in respinning our ISO to an XFCE IS ISO or something like that, we can validate you, we can have a talk, you know, do something within the community to to make sure it's not just, you know, like a crazy fucking trucked up trunk idiot doing it for fun season, then you'll get a desktop with flying gnomes all over the place that are running on a unicorn or, or something like that. Kind of validate them a little bit and say, hey, if you want to do that, we we, we will allow you to post that on our server. You know, ha, ha, we will seed that ISO for you guys, but you have to build or not build it, but you have to respin it. So when Pop OS 22.04 comes out, the community will then either at the same time or a little bit after respin an XFCE version, or a KDE version, and a Mate version, and there could be stipulations and rules saying you can't try to compete with us, so you can't do something that are efficiently competing with our main desktop. And I think that's what, what Ubuntu is doing also, saying that, hey, you can only use software that's already in our repositories. That's kind of like saying you can't go outside of our ecosystem. They could do something like that, or, or, or System76 could say, hey, uh, let's say, Joe, you want to respin XFCE here. You could do that, but you have to use this theme, these icon set, these fonts, and it has to be almost a bare stock standard XFCE versus, like, like what I have right here. You can't go out outside of our repository and add in a shit ton of PPAs and stuff like that. You know, so it, so it's not 100% compatible with what, what, what we're doing internally and stuff like that. Could this be a good idea for them to open up other editions from the community or do it themselves? It, yes, it, it don't take long, but they still have to build it. They still have to test it somewhat. Do they use their, their own installer or do they go with the, uh, what is it called? Uh, Ubiquiti installer, or are they doing the elementary installer, which is the one that they're using right now? Or should are they allowed going with the Calamouse installer? They could say that, hey, this theme, this icon, this font, and this installer. Because then the install experience is the same on all platforms as they want to, or if they require you to use their version of the elementary installer. As you guys can see here, I have the elementary software center, the pop software center up here, there could also be a requirement. Well, if you want as a community to respin this and we have to seed it for you and stuff like that, 
we will support you, we will stand behind you saying that we agree with what you're doing, but you have to also use our software center. You know, there could be all of those things to make sure that it, it's within the vision and, and, and within what System76 want out of Linux, but just with an alternative desktop. I actually think that would be a good idea, and I think they should do it kind of like how Mandiao is doing it here. Have the official one that is the Pop! OS Cosmic Desktop. And then let the community, you know, validate some people. Maybe give them like a one, two day course on how to respin their distribution, uh, the tools that they're using. Give them some guidelines. This is what you can do. This is what you can't do. And then say, hey, it's up to the community to make an XFCE version. It's up to the community to make a budget version. It's up to the community to make a KDE version. You get the idea here. I think that would be a really, really good idea. How I did this, I, I have scripts. I love making scripts when I'm bored. So I made a script how to install XFCE. A really, really simple script. I basically just took the install instructions from the alternative desktop here. Is this something you are interested in? Could you see yourself downloading Pop! OS, XFCE, Community Edition, or KDE and stuff like that? Again, let me know down below if, that, if, if that's what you're interested in. And should they do it themselves internally? Or should they go the Manjaro route, find some trusted community members, let them do it? I really, really would love to hear your guys' feedback down below. See you all later. Bye-bye.